the Shiny Monster, aka Mr. 3.5. Y'all know what it is. Central Valley's finest. You know what I mean? Before we Are you from here in the Central Valley? Yeah, where you grew up? California, born and raised. Alright, so what uh junior high school, high school you went out? Went oh, to? man, I went to uh I ain't gonna lie, I floated around. I went to Green Acres. Um I went to uh Continuation school. <laughs> then I went to a private school. I went to a Christian school for a minute to keep it a hundred. Uh, you know, the church my mom went to, she felt like it was gonna help me. You know, it, it, it tuned me in a little bit. You know what I mean? But uh, I got up out of there quick as soon as I could. As soon as I turned 18, I left to be a hundred, dropped out of school. You know what I mean? Moved to San Diego. But I went to Redwood High School. Uh, uh, I went to Hella Elementary, Houston Elementary, Crowley Elementary. I, I went to Viva Blunt for a second. You know, we was doing a lot of little moving around that time when I was young. But shit, if I say it was where it's at, you know what I mean? I went to the Bay and lived in the Bay for a while. I lived in San Diego, like I said, in El Cajon for a minute. You know, I've been around the world a little bit. Okay, okay. So how long you been doing music? Um, True story, my mom got me started. I was uh we was going to church and uh you know she my mom sang in church she was part of the choir you feel me so uh she uh you know she was you know we used to listen to a little music or whatever and she was just trying to she started a group of me my sister and my brother you know what I mean and, uh I was the only one that really carried the torch my sister sang she gave up on it you know what I mean she got you know her own thing going and then my little brother just you know it wasn't really in them he didn't really you know wasn't deep into the music so like you know i got into it with my cousins like my other cousins that wasn't you know going to church every day with us just, you know doing their thing in the streets you feel me or whatever so i started thugging with them that was actually my younger cousin my shout out my cousin psych you feel me and um you know we went for one thing back in the day there was a cat named aztec who had a, a theater i mean not a theater, aztec had a studio in tulare um, that was the first place I actually recorded that, you feel me? When I was young, I was probably like, nah, nah, I'll take that back. That was the first place I recorded and paid. The actual recording was in the same church that I went to when I was young. You know, we probably get in trouble for telling the story right now, but <laughs> we used to sneak into Pastor Hook's church when we was young. You feel me? And we used to record and do our thing, get our little, you know, little. I mean, you know, we kept the respect for as far as what we was talking about at that time until we got further in the game. But yeah, man, shout out to Gene, I mean, uh, to Jen, to, you know, uh, DC, Rudy D family. You know what I mean? That's where I, I really came up out of this music from. You know what I mean? Those who know me on the Sneak Entertainment is the label. That's where we came from, you feel me? But uh, I could talk on forever, man. <laughs> now that's what's up. So who was some of your uh, music people that influenced you growing up? Well, music like I was saying, um, Rudy Deep, you know what I mean? Robert Hooks, uh, Darren Chris, uh, uh, Dre Quinn, which is called Onslaught. Those was cats that was rapping in the community when I was coming up. You know, uh, Mac D and them was doing their thing, No Face and them was doing their thing. These is cats, because you know what? We was listening to everybody, you know, listen to the box and stuff as far as mainstream music. But you know, the influence to actually like believe I can do it was seeing other people that I knew doing it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So those are some of the cats that I seen. I used to watch these dudes do it live performances, you know, without a beat. It was just in sequence. And I was like, this shit is amazing. You know what I mean? It's this yeah. is hard to me. So that's what got me to really start rapping. You know what I mean? But I always liked music from the game. That's what's up. So where uh, are some of the shows? Uh, have you done any performances anywhere? Or any what show have you remembered the most? Oh man, um, before the pandemic, I had brought, uh, I, I was promoting myself. Um, I would say the first one that actually, like, um, really, like, I, I remember R.I.P. Jack, man. Jack did a show out here in Tulare, and we won a free verse from Jack. And um, okay. that night, you know, we kicked it with Jack, we went back to the studio, you feel me? And, you know, we built a relationship, you know what I mean? R.I.P. him, you know what I mean? Uh, unfortunately, I went to prison after that, so our, our relationship got cut short, and he passed away while I was in prison. But you know, I got you know a song with him. I got you know pictures and shit like that. You know, we kicked it on a personal level. But that was probably the most memorable show I did. But I mean, uh, my most prideful one, I threw myself. I had brought out uh, Neff the Pharaoh, O B Peasy, Little Slug, and Prezi to the Fox Theater in Visalia. In like June of uh, 2000, uh, I want to say 19, and uh, you know that you know it was successful. It was it, it could have been a little bit better, but you know 
I felt like, you know, four headliners was a good look for around here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, I've been involved with a lot of shows, man, so, you know, I did this things in Visaya, all the way to Chico, to Arizona, I done been in LA, the Bay, you know, I've been across, the, you know, as much as I could, as much as they invite me, you know what I mean? Pushing, huh? Vegas, you know what I'm saying? I heard that. So, for the viewers that's gonna watch this, where can they find all your music after watching this? Okay, so we got um, all the simple, you know, all, all the platforms everybody doing, you know, the Apple Music, the Vision, the, you know, the um, Spotify, Pandora, I'm on everything, Shawnee Monster, it's spelled S-H-A-W-N-Y, space M-O-N-S-T-A, and then um, I'm, I'm Shawnee Monster, Google me, I'm on everything, and I have a list of me, you know what I'm saying? You can Google that same name, I'm going to pop up under the artist, you know how that shit go, and I'm going to be there. You Come look at me, check me out. YouTube, I'm under the same name. Instagram, same name. You know what I mean? On the Sneak Entertainment is the label. It's O N T H A S N E A K and an E N T. What's up? Before we get up out of here, any last words? You know, I thank God I'm still here, man. You know what I mean?